What's going on, my PT peeps, my walking dead family, my fighters? I'm one eye bright, also known as PT. Don't know if I'm waking or blinking, but I'm definitely thinking about the walking dead, the end. Spoiler one for all things walking dead. So it's been an interesting journey over the course of 11 seasons, 177 episodes from 2010 to 2022. Hashtag we are the walking dead, walking dead family, walking dead forever. I don't know whatever you want to call it, but I just want to talk about some things from the Walking Dead journey. I've been there. I started watching the show on TV on season three, and I'll never forget the opening sequence with Rick and Teddy Bear Girl, which you know was a variant Walker, I guess, evidently. But it's just a cool thing. Now the way it ended left it open-ended. Now we could have more spinoffs, connections with the Rick and Michonne show. So we know that the main show has ended but it doesn't feel like an ending. It doesn't feel like it's over by any means, right? Or am I in the minority here? It started with Rick, and really he's the main character. You know, all shows have a main character, even though it's The Walking Dead, and anyone can die, and yada, 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 and all this, and all that. But we know people are safe. The plot armor is thick on Carol, Daryl, Maggie, Negan. You know, it just has to be. But Rick is one of those people that can never die, except for the very end of the story in the universe. So it started with Rick, the beginning, the middle, and the end with Rick. You know, it kind of did. It came a long way. I think the peak of The Walking Dead, seasons four, five, and six. I mean, it had like millions and millions of viewers. Different reports of like 17, almost 18 million viewers at its peak. But again, it ended with Rick, if you think about it, right? Well, it ended with Judith and RJ at the Commonwealth, but Rick was there in a post credit sequence. And it was cool to see, and a lot of people were expecting to see Rick, and I'm glad we did. But it feels incomplete at this moment. We need Rick to reunite with Michonne and Judith and meet RJ and Morgan. And, you know, we need to have those reunions. We had the variant walkers that really turned into it. Season one was a lot of funny stuff. They were carrying stuff, climbing fences, climbing stuff. And that really just went away. They did climb the fence a little bit at the prison, but it really wasn't emphasized. Then in season 11, part three, we had the variant walkers. It was kind of a big deal. And maybe we'll see that more for sure. Now there's been things in the Walking Dead universe that gave us the Dale face like, hmm, what are you talking about? And some bad decisions that made us scream like Deanna, who's Deanna? But it's one of those things where the show's not gonna be perfect, right? I mean, no show is perfect. The Morales stuff, that was the big thing I talked about in my live stream. Remember that? He went away and then only to come back in season eight to die very quickly. And was probably done just to stop the questions and all the theories. Now, I guess Heath is the next guy that's like, where's Heath? What happened with Heath? Even though Angel Kang said he was traded by CRM and Jadis, but there are some things that are left unanswered. Oceanside, Virgil, and so on. But we met a lot of characters over the 11 seasons. Like, a lot of characters. A ton of characters, right? These pictures don't even do justice to all the characters that came and went. Some came and went quickly, and some overstayed their welcome. Like Jared from The Saviors. That dude was around for far too long. And that was kind of a problem season 7 and season 8. But Fear the Walking Dead is still going, I don't know, I don't want to say strong, but it's still going. Season 8 needs to be greatly improved in my opinion, but we still have Walking Dead shows. Then Dead City. So we should have Fear the Walking Dead in February 2023, then Dead City in April, and then I'm guessing Daryl's show over the summer, followed by Rick and Michonne's show in October. So we still have a lot of Walking Dead universe left for 2023 and possibly beyond. We don't know how many of these shows are going to get a second and or third season, if they work out, if it's good, if it's interesting. And the fans, including myself, have a ton of questions. We need answers. Will Tales of the Walking Dead actually get a second season? Because, and will they connect the dots with unanswered things? I would love to see that too. Now we did get some answers, very minor answers in the world beyond. That was only two seasons. Some people are asking, should I go watch that now? Sure, if you wanna you know, scratch that itch of the Walking Dead universe. But it's a wrap, guys. The Walking Dead main show is over. I don't wanna say The Walking Dead is over because we could get more and more spinoffs I doubt AMC wants to just get rid of The Walking Dead. They could have an opportunity to continue the show in a variety of ways. Well, continue the stories in a variety of ways. I have some ideas about the spinoffs with Mercer, Ezekiel, Carol. It could work. CRM is still the biggest plot hole. We need those answers. I want to have a big battle war sequence with that. 
Will it happen? Only time will tell. But let me know your thoughts. Post your comments below. It's been an interesting journey, guys, and I'm glad I've been there for some of the ride with you. And I wish I started sooner, but hey, it's better late than never. Thank you guys. We truly appreciate all the love and support. It makes the channel continue to go and grow. We're not going anywhere. We're going to continue talking about the future shows of The Walking Dead and other stuff. Let me know what you want to talk about, but stay safe. And as always, tell them, Daryl. Yeah, we love you guys.